My dad and I went to ICAST, and this is what we found. Let's head in. I heard that this kayak is Surrey enabled. Uh, this kayak is Surrey enabled. So, uh, Siri, hey Siri, I need some light. So Siri's kind of slow. Oh, there it is. Hey Siri, turn on navigation lights. Hey folks, it's Kayak DIY. Right now we're hanging out at the new canoe booth. You guys might recognize this kayak or you might not because there's a lot of rigging and accessories and customization that has happened and it's all been done by Mr. Romel here. Um, so Romel, this is this is the kayak that you helped kind of customize and put your own you know, personal touch on. Exactly, so basically um, we had a kayak build off here and uh, so all the custom pieces were built by me uh, and uh, I assembled them here yesterday uh, during setup. <laughs> so pretty much we have a New Canoe Unlimited uh, and uh, kind of feature the New Canoe EPS system which is uh, the motor system that's run by the Newport NK180. Um, so main focus here was to uh, make a boat that uh, basically I don't have any holes drilled in here. Everything was dropped in so we can actually take everything off. So the gear pod uh, is kind of the main focus uh, of this build. So in the gear pod, we have our nav lights and our deck lights mounted. Um, we have a custom, this is a custom carbon fiber piece that I did. Um, and then inside we still have our, so we have our electronics, our battery, our storage. So once again, goal was here to be able to pull all the electronics off in one piece without having to unplug anything on the kayak. We have no holes drilled on the kayak whatsoever. So. Uh, to maintain the uh, hull integrity, make sure we don't have no leaks in the hull and whatnot. So, thing that New Canoe does is they give you a blank canvas, but it's a, a, a very versatile blank canvas. You got full length almost uh, track mounts everywhere, and they designed it kind of just have this modular drop in design for accessories. Right? 100%. Yeah, that's always been the focus with New Canoe blank canvas, build it how you like it, and uh, it works well for somebody like me that likes to set up things very specifically. On this new canoe, we have the new uh, foot pedal steering, which is a little different than most. Um, it's a gas pedal style, toe heel. So you got right turn, left turn by toe heel. It's nice and smooth. Um, and it runs off of a cable that runs to the back. So very nice and smooth uh, steering, um, hands-free. Definitely, you know, a plus. Um, and then, so moving on to the back, we have the Newport NK180 controller. Um, this seat is the Millennium seat uh, with the um, Elements, um, Mossy Oak Elements pattern uh, with a white powder coat frame, which is very nice. Of course, moving on back, we have the new Yak Attack Blackback Pro. I'm sure a lot of people have talked about it. This is a 13 by 16, um, very nice unit, very modular. You can do so much with it. I'm pretty sure Justin's pretty oh, yeah. excited about it. <laughs> um, so moving to the back, this is a custom piece that I did. Um, and this is, yep, you know, carbon fiber and all this stuff. I did all this stuff in house, but this uh, allows us to put the micro anchor along with the EPS system in the back. And then at the tail end, this is the meat and potatoes of the EPS system. So the Newport NK180 uh, brushless motor with the new canoe quick connect system. So um, the system is very uh, nice and smooth, versatile, very easy to get on and off the water. Um, just a really, really nice, simple built system that works really well. So, very cool. So I can't help but ask though, I heard that this kayak is Surrey enabled. Uh, this kayak is Surrey enabled. <laughs> that's, that's crazy, that's awesome. Yeah. So we can walk up to the front and I'll, I'll show you what Surrey can do. So uh, Siri, hey Siri, I need some light. So Siri's hey, kind of slow. Oh, there it is. Light. Hey Siri, turn on navigation lights. Hey Siri, lights out. Hey Siri, turn off navigation lights. There you go. Siri can do a lot on kayaks. That is crazy. I've never seen a Surrey enabled kayak. <laughs> wow. Oh man. Cool. Um, oh, one other thing. Like, what uh, what unit did you choose for for Garmin or for this particular build? All right. So we have the Garmin 93 SV. Um, very, you know, excellent unit. Um, I've used them for a couple years now. Um, I have it on a custom mount. That mount's custom. I like everything nice and solid, 
fixed. I don't like any wobble in my in my unit oh, when yeah. I'm when I'm rolling around. But um, of course, Garmin, LiveScope, and Optics. That's the way. That's what most people are going. So definitely, definitely a good good unit. So right here is a look at the main control unit for that particular motor. And so you got kind of a, uh, almost a boat looking throttle um, yep. set up. And then you got kind of a display of, what is that, your voltage? You got your voltage, throttle percentage, and then how many watts the motor is putting out and using. Okay, um, and how many watts is it? So this motor uh, at max will pull 500 watts. Okay. Yeah, so it's a 500 watt motor. Um, it's equivalent to about uh, 1.8 horsepower right around there. Okay. Um, it's brushless technology. Um, what's interesting about this is um, it has a non-proprietary battery, so we are running a Bioino 2450 lithium battery, but you can also run this motor off of a standard deep cycle battery. So if you want to run, if you have two gel cell 35 amp hours that are lying around in the house, you can wire up those two together to get 24 volts. And you can run this motor on it. Wow. So it's very um, flexible as far as power options goes, so if your budget is in a specific range, you can make that meet that much. So, yeah, that's always actually been a concern, you know, people want to put a lot of money into, you know, rigging up, but I've always been concerned that the companies are going to stop supporting the battery. Of course. And so, this in this way, you can just use any battery. You so, like. right. so that's that's a huge benefit in my opinion. And last I remember, this was actually pretty dang affordable compared to the competitors. It is. It's very affordable. Uh, retail price is 9.99. Um, and now, with the amount of lithium batteries that are out and about, the price of lithium batteries is coming down quite, quite a lot uh, compared to like a couple years ago. So, yeah, I've noticed that as well. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, definitely something to keep on your radar. And I'm gonna have a link in the video description below to everything here that you see. Okay, so now I'm hanging out with Fletch Griffin here, and we have his custom kayak that he built out. So basically, at the New Canoe booth, they're showing off like what some of their anglers have built out their particular new canoe too um, because as i said new canoe is designed to be a blank slate a blank canvas and so fletch here is going to go kind of bow to stern and talk about how he rigged his out and why uh yeah so the concept with ours was you know that whole blank slate thing we wanted to do a build that was uh was well done but you know any guy in his garage with a basic set of tools could, could replicate anything that they saw here and then we did add a little, you know, a couple of little party tricks and some fun things. Uh, but starting at the front here, we've got the uh, Motor Guide XI3 uh, with the pinpoint. Uh, so that's pretty basic setup and using the new canoe mounting plates. Uh, the only thing we, we did a little step above is we went with the power pucks uh, mounting system there. Uh, so the, the cool thing about this, well, it's locked up right now. Give me a second here, sorry. So you can see it's got a nice secure lock on it here. That's important when you're on the road or going to different places and you, you know don't want yeah, to take everything off. Yeah, you keep your motor secure, but the uh, the cool thing about this is that the power plug is integrated into the mount, so you'll notice there's no wires hanging off of this thing, right? I'm not having to drill any extra holes to mount uh, you yeah. know a plug or anything like that. And uh, you know these things take a little while to rig out, so any any time you can save uh, is more time you can spend on the water. So as soon as that seats. The motor's powered, uh, and it's ready to go, which is uh, a pretty I cool. actually didn't know that they had that available. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, something that's been in the big boat world, uh, but, you know, we saw it and wanted to bring it into the, you know, the kayak space. Uh, I thought that was, that was a pretty neat little setup, so. Um, so moving back from that, this is the uh, New Canoe Gear Pod, uh, which is a removal uh, pod and storage system. Uh, we, again, we're having a little fun with it, so we added a waterproof speaker set up to it. Uh, but you still got plenty of storage in here, as you can see. Still very functional, uh, but you can, you know, Bluetooth your phone to it, uh, listen to a little music. If you got to catch a call out on the water, you know, it'll come through there. So uh, just, just having a little fun with that. Uh, and then we've got a kind of a mix here between some new canoe accessories, some Yak Attack accessories, some Yak Gadget accessories. So you've got your GoPro mounts, uh, you got your little sideboard here from uh, Yak Gadget. Gives you some tool organization, a little cup holder, and gets your, your graph a little further outside. Keep this deck nice and open. Uh, got the Lawrence uh, Elite FS9 here. And then everything's running off of this Yak Power uh, switching system here. 
which is a great way to kind of you know add an entire electrical system to your kayak so everything is available here just at the touch of a button uh, so all of our light switches are, are powered in here all of our uh, little command stuff over there so a uh, very easy way to add that and of course you can't go wrong with the kayak cushion the long days out on the water a simple add-on that, that has a big impact <laughs> uh, and then on the other side so we've got a, a, uh, a digital battery meter here, which is very important with your lithiums. Uh, most volt meters are not gonna help you with the lithium, right? Because it's always gonna be putting out that 13.4 volts or whatever it is. Uh, so having a percentage is really key on those new lithium batteries, because before you know it, it's just done. Yeah, so what he's basically saying is, the old batteries, like the lead acid, the AGMs, all those, the voltage drops dramatically really fast as it discharges, but with lithium, it doesn't do that. It has a very constant voltage curve. And so if you are only monitoring voltage, you're not getting any information because lithium spontaneously at the end just drops. So you're not gonna know how much battery you have. So having a battery percentage is more important. And I really wanna stress that because I get tons of uh, questions about lithium because it's kind of slowly emerging in the space, you know, as it becomes more affordable. Yeah. Uh, so another nice little add-on we added was a waterproof USB hub here. Uh, so you've got, you know, if you wanna charge your camera, or your phone on the water, it's all integrated into your battery there. And then my favorite thing, which is by far the <laughs> cheapest thing on this, but is the boat horn right here. <laughs> so, you know, I have not seen a kayak with a horn, that's <laughs> awesome. Yeah. So being able to, you know, when you're sharing the water with those big boats, uh, being able to let them know, hey, I'm over here, you know. Yeah. You can do the flag, you can do the light, but the horn's just kind of fun, you know? Oh, man. Uh, so moving back from there, uh, boondocks, you know, uh, the landing gear, right? As we start adding batteries and motors and all this stuff, having a good, easy way to transport this is so important. Uh, we're utilizing the, the new canoe uh, adapter plates for that, so it's a, it's a good, safe install. It's distributing that load, uh, so we don't have to worry about that. Can you show how that folds up on that yeah, side, maybe, yeah, for people? So with it in the deployment, position you can just roll this thing like a wheelbarrow uh, when you when you get to on the water you can flip that up and your cart basically goes with you it's fairly unobtrusive uh, but if you want you know you can pull this off and throw this in the back of the truck you know and then you've got a nice bit of track here that you can add accessories like these yak attack omega rod holders uh, visibility flags camera mounts and all of that stuff so uh, it's, it's functional, you know, in a lot of different ways. Uh, so yeah, moving back from there, again, more Yak Attack camera accessories, uh, you know, as you know, uh, being able to mount your cameras and document that experience is very important. And then we've got a Yak Gadget uh, custom box here. John was nice enough to kind of work with us a little bit on this build. This is kind of a prototype for him, uh, and it just, it's a little bit over the top, but if you can't fit it all in there, you're doing something wrong, you know, <laughs> basically. So a lot of rod holders. Uh, we've got our battery uh, integrated into here. We're working with the uh, Amped Outdoors lithium batteries. Uh, fantastic batteries. Uh, more than enough power. This is 100 amp hour. This should be good for, you know, a, a really solid day or even, you know, the next day. Um, and then plenty of storage up front for all your tackle boxes and things. You can see we've got full of our, our chargers and all of that type of stuff but uh, and then coming back from there the new uh, new canoe rudder kit which is attached to the foot control steering uh, fantastic option uh, the reason we put it on here is a lot of guys were finding with that bow mounted motor the back of the boat would tend to kind of wander or walk a little bit right so having that control and that rudder back there uh, really keeps you tracking straight and uh, allows you to make some, some finer adjustments just with your foot you know and not having to worry about the motor as much so, okay. uh, and then that's all going through Brinko plugs uh, okay. and six right gauge here. wire end to end. It's a little bit of an overkill, but again, you know, we'd rather do too much than not enough, especially when you're dealing with these high power lithium batteries and electronics. Yep. Uh, you really want to make sure you've got a good clean setup. So. so, so this is running power into here, and then you got like lines basically in the hall that will power the go all the way to the, the power motor platform. guide right, XI3. Yeah. yeah, and then it branches off, 
you know, from there to to power our USB and our, our battery meters, the horn and, and our fish finder and things like that. It's all, it's all integrated. So. Okay. And what, yeah. what size battery were you running again? It's a 100 amp hour uh, okay. lithium 12 volt. Okay. So, cool. yeah. Well, that's awesome. Uh, thank you so much, Fletch. And uh, if you have any social media, which I... Do you, you have do you have social oh, media yeah, accounts too? Yeah, uh, yeah. Westbrook Supply Co. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram. Uh, website's westbrooksupplyco.com. Uh, we got a great shop in Atlanta, so okay. Uh, cool. Yeah, if you need anything there, come cool. see us. Awesome. Okay, so this is another way that you can set up the unlimited. So every boat that you've seen has been the same hull. It's been the unlimited hull, and it's designed to have unlimited options for rigging. So starting up in the bow, you know, this is more empty versus the other one over here, it had a motor guide on it. Um, they chose to, you know, put the, the pod system up in the front. Um, they're leaving it kind of bare at the moment. This is just kind of a bare bones setup, but it does have something you didn't see on the other ones. It has their pivot drive, which is their pedal drive. So right here, you can see it actually has a flexible drive shaft that runs all along the side here to the stern. And right here is the pedal drive. So the cool thing about it being right on the back is it's gonna really steer well. So we've actually done some previous videos talking about this. I, we've even had it out on the water. Um, so I won't be going too in depth on that. But basically by having the propulsion on the stern, you're gonna be able to turn a lot better. And so that's something that is kind of unique to new canoe. Um, here is their uphaul line. This gets pulled. The propeller system actually pops up and out of the water. Um, as I mentioned, this is the drive shaft that goes up to the pedal drive. And then uh, this right here is actually the steering line. So it's very, very robust engineering. And uh, if you come over here on this side of the boat here, you'll see that they have kind of like a shift sty style uh, steering. And so it's moving this arm here in and out. It's not like just a, a simple line, it's actually more of a rigid um, steering line. So built very, very tough. And then here they have the seat, you know, they have the full length tracks that, you know, is what makes new canoe so incredibly versatile for so many years um, you even got access panels which is something that doesn't get a lot of attention but they put these here so that you have access to be able to get into the hall to run lines and do different things you actually have another access panel up here in the in the bow as well so that's how you're able to easily run your electrical for things like that motor guide uh, motor um, so yeah, basically that is New Canoe. New Canoe is designed to be a versatile platform.